In this video, I will show you how to make these simple but modern UI design of the service section of a website. I will make these using auto layout, component variant, and smart animation. And we will convert this design into a functional service section in our next video using the Elementor page builder in WordPress. Hi, I am Alex from Essential Web Apps. And we make videos on WordPress, website and social media strategy, web design, and development. To see our regularly uploaded videos, please hit the subscribe buttons and click the bell icon for notification. Add a header text first. This is style one. Let me bring some icons in my frame. These icons are from Google Fonts. Let me put these outsides of the frame for now. For the first style, let's start with a rectangle. Now bring an icon. Place it in the middle. Make it white. Select both. And convert it into an auto layout. Now add some text here. I will make a read more button. Make a copy of it. Change the color. Put an underline here. This is the hover state. Now copy this underline and put it here. Make it small and reduce the opacity to zero. Select both and convert these into components. Rename these. Put a slash. B for black. And G for green. Select both and combine as variants. Now apply smart animation here. Select while hovering for this. Now select the smart animate. And this to ease in and out. From the asset tab, drag and drop this in the frame.
one by one convert these into auto layout too. Because these are auto layouts, you will have precise control over the gaps. Okay, read more buttons underline should be enemy. But there's a problem here. As you can see, this underline has a number. That means both lines have different names. Smart animation will not occur if the names are different. Now it's animating perfectly. Now make five more of the same. And rename the texts. The main advantage of the auto layout is, you can just drag and drop the icon into the auto layout, and it will just fix the padding automatically. Now let's move on to the next style. This is style number 2. Let's bring the icons again. Okay, if you want a circle in an auto layout, you might not be able to do that. You have to pick a rectangle and make that into a circle by using the corner radius option. Make an auto layout like the previous one. Add text. Now, I will make a button. Make it auto layout too. Fix the padding.
Now, I will convert this into a component variant too, and apply the smart enemy. Place it in the design. Make rests into auto layout too. Let me make this center align. Make this paragraph length a little bit big. Now make 5 more and change the text and icons like the previous one. I also want an arrow icon on my button. This is a component variant, we just have to change the mother button, and the rest of the buttons will be changed automatically. As you can see all the buttons have the same arrow. I am also going to put a divider line in between service items. Now the style number 3. Here, instead of icons, I will put images. These are from the freepic.com. Let's resize these. Place an image here. Put some text too. Let's copy the same button. Rename. Remove the icon for this one. And also no Connor radius. Place this from the asset tab.
Convert into Auto Layout. Make 5 more of this. As it is an auto layout, we can just drag and drop the image in here, and remove the previous one. Rename this. Let's do the same for the rest. So, there you go. We are gonna make these designs into a real service section in our next video using WordPress. So, stay tuned and subscribe. We are gonna post these kinds of design inspiration videos more often. If you like this kind of video, please give it a thumbs up. And, I will see you in the next video.